the second they come out, they look at you and they know your mom, you're the one, um, or your dad. So it's through smell and it's through face-to-face -face contact, that eye contact. I mean, I remember with all three of my children that uh, that one moment when they came out and they were put on me and I looked into their eyes and that was it. That's early learning. That's early learning for them and that's early learning for me. That's the beginning of attachment, which is so key for learning. Um, so that's kind of the first part. And as children get older, for those first six months, the biggest key is that face-to-face -face contact. Lots of times, lots of times spending and looking at our children. Um, it's fascinating because newborns, if you stick your tongue out at your newborn baby and you do that two or three times, they will actually stick their tongue out back at you. It's amazing the brain control and the motor control that they have to be able to do that. That's at just a few hours old. Um, and then it, their form, first form of communication is crying. That's all they got. They got crying. They can't smile as a newborn, so they can cry. And that's how they tell you what they want. And if you are spending a lot of time really looking at your child and cooing at them and smiling at them and sticking your tongue out at them and making big O's with your mouth they will, and hearing what they say and mimicking back to them, you will start to be able to um, learn the difference between a hunger cry and a sad cry and sometimes just a needing to cry it out cry and you'll be able to meet those needs. And as you meet those needs, the child learns, this is what I need to do in order to have these needs met. And as we get older, it then goes into being able to say ooh and ah and e and doing that back, that baby babble. And then it goes into a little bit further of being able to clap our hands, say those first words, those first sounds, which is usually dada. Dada is usually the first sound. However, mama is usually the first word with meaning. But most children will say dada first and repeating that back and being able to bring in a bit of baby sign is always very helpful so that children can say more. Um, so it's just kind of listening to our child and spending all that face-to-face -face time. That's the biggest, biggest piece when you're looking at those early literacy skills.